up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random, and the mosquitoes in the country that I am in are disrespectful. I thought I saw something crawling. I was like, oh no. I'm starting to get paranoid. I saw a bug the other day. I'm like, oh crap. They've come to me. They have come to me. But anyway, I'm itchy. I need to take a shower. But uh, before I take a shower, I'm going to go do a roomie and me with you. Uh, a roomie and I, roomie and me. It's been a while since I've done one. So let's go. Uh, I already did that one. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Okay, if you don't have, that is the poem for today. If you don't have, and the question is, how does this poem inspire you? Again, how does this poem inspire you? And it's called, If You Don't Have. If you don't have enough madness in you, go and rehabilitate yourself. If you've lost a hundred times the chess game of this life, be prepared to lose one more. If you're the wounded string of a harp on this stage, play once more, then resonate no more. If you are that exhausted bird fighting a falcon for too long, make a comeback and be strong. You've carved a wooden horse, riding and calling it real, fooling yourself in life. Though only a wooden horse, ride it again, my friend, and gallop to the next post. You've never really listened to what God has always tried to tell you. Yet you keep hoping after your mock prayers, salvation will arrive. So I put, and this was back in uh, August 28th of, I want to say 2018, 2020. I'm not sure. I didn't put the dates back then. And I recently started to put the dates in my book, but um, it was in August and we're getting close to August. Um, this probably will come out in August. Uh, but I said, this poem inspires me to continue to manifest my reality. This poem inspires me to keep on pushing. This poem inspires me to stop and remember my strength. This poem inspires me to sit with the dark well in my heart, to sit with my inner child who keeps getting hurt by the adult me's desire to digest the trauma I have experienced in life. So the, the adult me's desire to digest the trauma I have experienced in life. This poem inspires me to remind myself that I am strong and I am trying. I am not where I was yesterday. So it's, it's just a poem that reminds me that each day I'm at a different place than I was before. Now, back then, that's what I said. But if I read the poem today, what does it inspire me to do? It says, if you don't have enough madness in you, go and rehabilitate yourself. Find the passion. And if you don't have passion, there's probably something wrong, right? Uh, you've lost a hundred times the game, test game of life. Be prepared to lose one more. Find your passion and... It's okay to lose. It's okay to like lose, lose, lose. Let's go. It's it's saying that tomorrow might not be your winning day, but play the game anyway. Um, you were the wounded string of the harp on the stage. Play once more and then resonate no more. So I'm a wounded string. Like you never know when you're not going to be able to sing anymore. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but you never know when your spring, string is going to be completely broke. So let's play again. Let's keep going until it breaks. Let's ride the, the what do they call it? Let's ride the horse until the horse falls out. Let's continue, let's keep going. Um, if you're that exhausted bird fighting the falcon for too long, make a comeback and be strong. I'm tired, I'm tired of this grandpa. And grandpa says, well, that's too damn bad. Keep on digging. So keep on digging. Let's go. Um, very, It's very much like, let's go, let's go, let's go. One thing that really stands to me is you've never really listened to what God has always tried to tell you. The other day I was watching um, videos of people who've had near-death experiences. And they were talking about how... Um, 
how the idea of free free will is like not real like free will we have this idea of free will but you're gonna have to learn the lessons that you signed up to learn and so you can go off course but you're gonna come back to that lesson right so you never really listen to what god has had to tell you anyway it's like just keep going it's like part of me feels like it's saying you know the next time the next time is going to be it but you're you too stuck on well i keep losing i keep losing okay we'll lose again it's not saying you're going to lose next time but it's saying try and lose again you never know what, like, you never listen to what God is telling you. You never listen to, hey, I've been telling you that this is going to be your big break. You don't want to believe it? Okay, well, just continue with that mindset. You'll see. If you think that you're, you're like, defeated and you feel hopeless and you're feeling weak, okay, well, let's go. One more time. One more time. And it's going to keep going. One more time. One more time. One more time until you reach that point. Okay, it's it's very much like someone like a big sister talking to you like, I know you have it in you. I know you can do it. We got this. That's how I feel like when I read that poem. And um, and it's still I, I got to tap into what I said when I was younger. A younger version of me said I need to also listen to the younger version of me, my inner child. My inner teen. Like, not only am I, I hurting a me of today, I'm hurting a me of yesterday, a me of the past when I just give up. I have to go through this journey. There's no other way. I'm going to have to live the life that I picked out. For those who don't know, I tend to go towards the idea that I chose this life before I came here. The painful times, the lessons that I wanted to learn, I chose it. And I might not have known how it was going to feel, but I chose this life. It, it gives me a lot of power over like life if I say I chose it. I chose the hardships, okay? Everybody's not going to agree with that mindset. Life has given them a lot of hardships where they're just like, hell no, I wouldn't have chose this for myself. But I chose this for myself. I chose to feel these feelings and I didn't even understand how these feelings were going to feel because in the world that we are in before we come to our corporal bodies, at least this is how I believe it. You don't have to ascribe to how I believe, but the world that we were in before we came to our corporal bodies, we could not feel the human experience, anger, all of this, these emotions are very human experience. We have this idea of it, but it's it's still, it's still, okay, well, why am I here? I think all of us have a reason to be here. All of us have a purpose to be here. I do think that if you take your life, that, that life that has been taken, you're going to be put back into a cycle. If you didn't complete the cycle that you were supposed to be completing, you're going to have to complete it. You got to start all over. It's all for a reason. In some lives, you'll be powerful. In some lives, you'll be weak. In some lives, you'll be... I don't even want to say weak as in like... Weak like... It's a lot. It's a lot. It's really how I view the world. And I know that that's not like how a lot of people will view the world. And I know that that could be strange to some people. And to that, I say, okay. Like, it's understandable that if you don't see the world the way I see it, that you would think the way I see the world is strange. And I'm completely okay with not being understood in that manner because this is just things that I hold as my belief, right? So keep going. You don't listen to anyone telling you what to do anyway. So continue down that path, fail, hit rock bottom, and then let's go. There's no free will in the ways that we think that we have free will. We have the free will to make the mistake over and over and over again. I think we even have the free will for some to even take our lives. We have that, that free will to do that. But it's not going to make things better. Like I said, you'll start, you'll start that cycle again. If things are so bad that you're like, man... I can't do it anymore. Imagine starting all over. I 
I don't think that uh, if you don't complete if you don't complete your story, it's not a punishment, but it's it's like it's a commitment. It's a contract. You got to complete your contract. You got to complete your contract. And also, I don't think the only ways that I wouldn't complete my contract is if I just gave up. I just gave up, stopped trying to better myself. I feel like as long as I'm trying to better myself, okay, we're good. You'll meet your contract. You'll finish. You'll do what you need to do in your contract. But once you just stop and you just give up, you're not going to make it. I don't think I'm at the point in life where I won't complete my contract. I don't know what it is. And as of right now, I'm kind of fine with not knowing what it is, but I think I have enough time to find it out. And, you know, we'll see when we get there. And I'll take you guys along for that journey. Um, so anyway, much love and positive vibes. Hope to see you guys again next time. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And peace. Rest your face. <laughs>